what were some of the things you learned from Frontiers and your previous title that you're now adapting in Superstars? Yes, yeah, Sonic Frontiers was that evolution of the modern series, and we spent a lot of time really making sure it met up to everyone's expectation. Superstars is, in the same light, an evolution of the original series. It started, you know, with Sonic 1, 2, 3, and Knuckles, uh, all the way to Mania and even Sonic Origins. It was that 2D pixel-based gameplay that people love so much, but we wanted to jump up and take it to the next level. And moving forward, we plan on keeping both the classic series and modern series alive. So what we do in games like Sonic Frontiers, we want to make sure we aren't doing in Superstars. And again, some of the things we're doing in Superstars, we want to make sure we're not doing in Frontiers, to really make sure both of them can stand apart from each other, but also stand on their own. So with Origins and Mania, you had uh, the digitized sprites, the pixel gameplay. In Superstars, it's fully 3D, beautiful, colorful, vibrant. Um, but what was that conversation like with your studio about deciding to go to 3D over, like, say, hand-drawn animation, uh, you know, frame by frame? After we made Sonic Mania, we wanted to take the side-scrolling platform action gameplay in a new direction. In the early days, we did have an idea of maybe having hand-drawn animations as a concept, but when we thought about it, the 3D model, we could really get to mimic the pixel animation and the pixel art, and so we set out with the 3D models to really animate the game and have the game look and feel and animate just like the classic, the original Sonic the Hedgehog did. Now in the demo we played, I've seen a few of the items, you know, that I've seen before, like the magnetic shield, uh, but there's also some new power-ups in the game. Uh, can you talk a little bit about those? Yes, we wanted to take a lot of things from the classic series and make sure they were still preserved in the new title. So a lot of the great items, the magnet, uh, all of that all of that functionality, we wanted to still remain the same in the new game. But we also wanted to have lots of new actions and new items come in. Yeah, so we also included emerald powers, and the emerald powers are there to really appeal to the new audience and make sure there's something new and interesting for them to come in uh, and get hooked with, and also to enjoy the classic, iconic uh, Sonic the Hedgehog gameplay. I saw a lot of the old Sonic, uh, a Knuckles, Sonic 2 and 3 minigames kind of sub-special levels come back in this in this game. What was it like revisiting those with modern tech and, and expanding those further and still making those fun and enjoyable? Because some of those were really hard, especially in Sonic 2. I remember them being very difficult to navigate. Yes, in the original games, we always had special stages. And the special stages, especially for Sonic 2 and Sonic 3, were all things that the Mega Drive couldn't really do, were all things the Genesis couldn't really do, which is this kind of 3D-esque style of display. But now that we kind of are functioning in a 3D environment and we can do that 3D without having to fake it, we're taking that same 2D, the, the fun 2D core gameplay, but applying it to this 3D environment and really allowing the special stages to stand out. You know, Sonic has a wide range of family of friends. You decided on these four core characters. Talk about that process, uh, how you decided on Amy, Tails, Knuckles, and Sonic. Yes, as you saw in the trailer, we have four playable characters, and we wanted these characters to be able to play all at the same time together. So when we go back to the classic series and think about what characters really work best, Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles are the obvious pick. But we wanted to add something that the fans would really enjoy, and that's why we chose Amy Rose to be the fourth playable character. So I have to ask again, Shadow's not in the game. <laughs> or is he in the game? I don't know. What, like, uh, like, what's going on with him in your franchise line? Because we didn't see him in Frontiers, and now you're coming out with new games, which I've not seen him that either. Uh, talk a little about Shadow and what your plans are him uh, for the future, if you can say. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, Shadow is not in the game. Uh, sorry, all you Shadow fans. This is a classic series game, so do understand Shadow is not a part of the classic series. But do be hopeful for Sonic 3. I think for those who saw Sonic 2, you saw a nice reveal after the credits. Uh, do stay tuned for Sonic 3, and do know that we do want to create a game with Shadow in it uh, for, our, for all of our fans in the future. So with Frontiers, you, you, were, you were on the cutting edge of technology, reinventing Sonic, and now you're going back to kind of his roots, his classic roots. Is this going to kind of be the pattern for your design, you know, do a revolutionary title, something never been done before, then kind of go back to the classic version and try to revamp on that, and then kind of rotate back and forth? Since 2011, when Sonic Generations came out, we really wanted to make sure we had the classic series alive and well, and the modern series alive and well. And this is kind of extended out to where we are now with the modern series. Sonic Frontiers is really the, the latest version of that modern gameplay. 
And for the classic series, we have Sonic Superstars as the latest version of that classic gameplay. Moving forward as we think about future games, we definitely want to keep both the classic and the modern series still alive, and we plan on innovating and adding in more interesting ideas to both the modern series and the classic series. Battle Pass is our big thing now, DLC, all this stuff. Um, if the game is really successful, uh, can players hopefully see like you know downloadable characters in the future? I mean, play maybe play as Doctor Robotnik in the future for superstars. Currently, you know we're we'd like to get a lot of stuff ready for the launch of Sonic Superstars, and hopefully we'll have some great content for people at launch. We live in a world of remakes and reboots now. Very successful remakes, Resident Evil 4. Um, People have been pounding the table. I'm one of those for a Sonic Adventure 2 remake. Can you speak to any? Can, can you speak to anything to that at all? Uh, whether you guys are considering it or keeping it close to the chest or anything at all. Yes, I do love Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, I really enjoyed playing it, and I, it's a title that I want to come back and play as well. Uh, but I also want to make new things. New things like Sonic Frontiers, new things like Sonic Superstars. So right now we're focused on making the new things, um, and that, you know, right now we're focused on making the new things. So when does Sonic Superstars come out, and what platforms will it be available at launch? Sonic Superstars will come out this holiday season on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, Nintendo Switch, Epic Game Store, and Steam.